What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today is Wednesday, which of course means it's time for another Western York Wednesday here on the channel, and the beer I'm reviewing today once again comes from the Froth Brewing Company, and they're out of Buffalo, New York, and this is their Double Juice Life. So they're calling this one a Double Hazy IPA that comes in at 8.5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in time of review. This can is approximately three and a half weeks old. So... I have reviewed quite a few beers from Froth on my channel, but the vast majority of them are a part of their Liquid Lollipop series, which is a heavily fruited sour series. Uh, I've only, I think, reviewed a couple Hop Forward beers from them, maybe even just one. Now, I've had the regular Juice Life from them, which is a 6.5% hazy IPA. I haven't reviewed it. So when I saw this one, relatively fresh, I was like, you know what? Time to review a Hop Forward beer from Froth. So this one is brewed with Citra, Mosaic, and Eldorado hops, and it's relatively fresh. And I am here to give it a go. Now, when it comes to Froth, I've never loved their Hop Forward stuff. I'm always about the Liquid Lollipop uh, series from them. Um, I've had some good other styles from them, but... Uh, their hop forward stuff is hit or miss for me, but uh, I'm hoping that this hits. So this hits, not hisses, this hits. So I'm pouring, pour, pouring, again, this is just a bad day for trying to talk right now, but I'm pouring this into the hashtag proper glassware. That's really not proper glassware. But, I mean, it is the froth of brewing company glass, and that looks absolutely beautiful in said glass, in my opinion. But you guys want to see the beer. It has that glowing, like, orange color, very murky and turbid. About three quarters of a finger of the really creamy off-white uh, colored head. Hold it up to the light. You can't see through it. Yeah, I mean, that plays the role of a beautiful, hazy, a double IP. Let's get a nose. Nice. So definitely huge citrus. And with Juice Life, obviously, you see the dog. <laughs> awesome label, honestly. The dog has orange slices for his eyes. And I will say that definitely huge on the orange and tangerine kind of vibe here. Yeah, orange and tangerine, maybe a slight grapefruit hint. And then peach. Maybe a nectarine. Yeah. Very uh, juicy and uh, I would say fruity, but not like overly sweet. It's not like a lot of candied or, or sugary. But I'm not really getting anything else. A lot of times I'll be like, oh, you know, it has an herbaceous dankness or maybe a pine character, maybe an earthiness or something like that. Grassy. No, just all juice. Smells really good. Let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. Wow, that's pretty good. That's actually real good. Wow, that might be the best hot forward beer I've had from Froth. There is a, just a explosion on the palate of juicy orange and tangerine. Like, it's crazy how juicy the citrus fruits are. Buying this 8.5% bit thin, this is like straight up medium body, so definitely thin. The mouthfeel isn't like over the top as, as far as like, you know, a super smooth and soft and creamy kind of mouthfeel. It has like a mild to moderate carbonation, more approaching moderate. It is smooth on the palate, but it doesn't have like a huge creamy sensation, and it's not like super soft. But the name is appropriate. Double Juice Life, yes. This is huge, juicy, sweet, orange, tangerine. Dare I say tangelo. A lot of citrus fruits. They're juicy. They're a little bit to the sweeter side. It also has like a slight pithy thing, but that's the first half of the palate. There's an underlying like kind of biscuity kind of malt character as well. As it passes through, instead of me getting the grassy, uh, dank, herbaceous, piney uh, kind of character you can get from the hops on the finish, or at least I can, what happens is the citrus character kind of morphs into this pithy, zesty, drying kind of, um, you know, citrus rind on the back of the palate. There isn't any of that peach or nectarine I was getting in the nose. It's just citrus fruit, and it's really well done. This is quite dry on the finish. What I love about it is it's not super sweet to begin with, so that dryness kind of balances out. Very mildly bitter. doesn't have a lot of bitterness. Um, but for something that's simplistic, basically citrus fruits that are juicy and have a drying kind of finish on the back of the palate. Like, it's not a complex, over-the-top beer, but it's done extremely well. I almost forgot that it's 8.5% too. Hides the alcohol really well. This is the best hop four froth beer I've had, and I think I can safely say that. Yeah. Go one more sip, and we'll rate it. 
So a lot of times after a, a sip or two, I kind of formulate in my head what I'm going to give a rating to a beer. And after the first couple sips, I was thinking like low 4.25 was with 4.2. I'm bumping up slightly because I forgot it was 8.5%. It hides the alcohol extremely well. And while it's simplistic, it delivers something to the palate that's still good enough for me to go, man, I just want to keep on drinking this. Which, you know, a beer doesn't need to be complex to be good. You know, it just doesn't. And this is a perfect example. It's not overly complex and it's a damn good beer. So I am going to give Frost's um, Double Juice Life no issues giving this a high 4.25 and go 4.3 out of 5. This is, to me, the best Froth Hot 4 beer I've had. Now, I haven't had a ton, but I've had like their Pillow Top. I've had the Juice Life. There was a couple others uh, when they first started open up I've had. And this, to me, is the best of the bunch. And I like the label. I uh, like the can. I like that they're using the black uh, colored can, too, for the Hot Ford beers. I don't know if they're doing that for others at this point, but pretty cool. Price point availability. This is even better. Um, I picked this up at uh, the Tops in Lewiston, New York, not far from Brood and Bottle. I went to Brood and Bottle. I stopped at the Tops to get some groceries, check out the beer section. They have an awesome beer section there. This is $3.99 for uh, the can. which So four bucks for this can of an 8.5%. Really good double hazy double IPA. I think that would make four packs, probably 16, but they're probably 16 to 18. I think that was a little cheap and it was you know quite fresh. So I don't regret that at all. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's a good price point. And availability is froth. I do think froth gets outside of... New York State occasionally. I don't know. If you're outside of New York State and you see Frost stuff, let me know. I'm sure they probably... Have they been on Tavor before? I have no idea. Um, I do know you... Uh, if you're in the West New York area or like the central New York area, you should be able to get their stuff. I don't know how far out of the area this makes it, but I know their liquid lollipop has shown up at like New Jersey and places like that. So um, you can probably get your hands on Froth if you're in like the Mid-Atlantic area for sure. Anyway, if you've had this one before, post in the comment section, what's your favorite hot forward beer from Froth if you've had more than a couple? Um, like I said, this is definitely my new favorite from them and I enjoy it quite a bit. So anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Check back in next Wednesday for another West New York Wednesday. I don't know what I'm gonna review, but it's gonna be from the West New York area and hopefully it's just as delicious as this one. To the next one. Cheers.